General Motors, one of the largest car manufacturers in the world. What is the history of this brand? In this video, we'll be covering all of the history since 1907 to 2021 of General Motors. So sit back, relax and enjoy the video. General Motors is an American car manufacturer which was founded in 1908 by William Billy Durong, who had started out as a manufacturer of horse-drawn vehicles. GM initially only owned the Buick Motor Company, but later acquired more than 20 other companies, including Oldsmobile, Cadillac, Oakland, today known as Pontiac, Germany's Opel, Chevrolet, and Vauxhall. Believe it or not, but at the start of the 20th century, there were fewer than 8,000 cars in the US. Many of them powered by steam or electricity, while others had petrol engines. GM's design studio was headed by Harley Earl until his retirement in 1959. He created the beautiful 1927 Cadillac LaSalle. During the Second World War, GM supplied the Allies with more than $12 billion of materials, including airplanes, lorries, and tanks. By 1942, all of GM's production was in support of the war effort. In 1940, former GM President William Knudsen was appointed by President Roosevelt as chairman of the new wartime office of production management. After the war, the company developed independent front wheel suspension unibody construction and the one-piece steel roof. The 1949 Buick Roadmaster, the Chevrolet Corvette and the Bel Air and the 1959 Cadillac El Dorado helped set the ton for automotive styling through the fabulous 50s, the golden age of car design. In 1971, GM pioneered the use of the engines that can run on low lead or unleaded petrol. Two years later, it was the first to offer a car with an air bag and in 1974, it introduced the catalytic converter to reduce emissions. The manufacturer helped develop the guidance and navigation system for the first moon landing aboard Apollo 11 and designed and manufactured the lunar roving vehicle for Apollo 15, the first vehicle driven on the moon. In the 1980s, GM opened a new complex in Zaragoza, Spain, which began manufacturing the Opel Corsa. The firm also added Saab and Hummer to its stable. In 1995, annual vehicle sales outside North America exceeded 3 million units for the first time, while 5 million vehicles were sold in the US and GM embarked on its first joint venture in China. Buick became China's most popular automated brand. As environmental concerns increasing came to the fore, GM started producing more fuel-efficient petrol engines, as well as biofuels and hybrids. So as you can see, General Motors has a very interesting history. This brand does receive a lot of hate nowadays, and I can understand why, but let's admit it. They make such good cars. They have the nice engines. I'm not talking about all of their cars. Let's say like the Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk, or the Dodge Demon, or those type of cars. Those are great cars. Like their V8, the 6.4 liter supercharged V8, Nothing can beat that beast. That's what I love about their cars, their engines. So if you like these type of videos, please let me know down in the comment section below. And also if you want me to talk more about General Motors, please email me. My email address is in the description below. 
and I also made a video like this where it's the history of the BMW logo if you are interested in that type of video it is a very interesting video I'll link it up in the icon above so have an awesome day as always and I'll see you at my next video goodbye Thank you.